Hello, my front porch friend. Well, I'm in my happy place today, out in these woods. It's been a while since you and I've been up here, up here in the bluffs. Let me show you where we are. If you look good and close, the rock hole is way down there, the creek. And then my house is down that old dirt road, way back up in there somewhere. <laughs> Oh, some days you just need to get out here where God is. In fact, there's a scripture that I love. I think it's in Psalms 26, 8. In the New Living Translation, it says it like this. I love your sanctuary, Lord. The place where your glorious presence dwells. I love that because the word also says the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That to me just means God can't dwell in a place with walls. He can't be boxed in. This whole earth is his sanctuary. Everywhere you look and everything he has made, he dwells here. And I love to get out here with him and listen, especially on certain days. And this is one of those days. In fact, that's another reason I'm here. is because this week... You came to my mind as I was praying. Actually, I was just praying about some personal things for myself. I was just dealing with a lot of stuff. And I was praying and I found myself in my own prayer just saying these words over and over. I was, because I was feeling this. I was just saying, God, I just feel overwhelmed. Overwhelmed. And then I thought of the verse that I've loved so many years out of Psalm 61 that says this, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. So that's why I wanted to come up here today. Because as I was praying that for myself, you came to my mind. And I knew as I was praying that I wasn't just praying for me, but I was praying for you too, because some of you have been feeling exactly that, overwhelmed. Let me get up to a, here to a place that I can sit. I want to talk to you about some stuff that the Lord has encouraged me with, and I just believe it's going to encourage you too. If you are that person that I was praying for, you are that person that was feeling that same thing. Let me make sure there's no varmints around here, because <laughs> there's a few little caves up in here. See that little cave right there? Making sure nothing's living back up in there about right now. <laughs> in fact, let's just start off with this, this scripture. Let me get my Bible out. Come on with me. Bear with me. Let me get my bearings. Psalms 61. The whole chapter is just beautiful. Don't you just love the book of Psalms anyway? Psalms 61. Right here. It starts off like this, and it says this. Oh God, listen to my cry. Hear my prayer. From the ends of the earth, I cry to you for help. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the towering rock of safety, for you are my safe refuge, a fortress where my enemies cannot reach me. Let me live forever in your sanctuary, Lord, safe beneath the shelter of your wings. Well, I love that because I related to David these last few days in some areas. I like it because David just starts off just saying, Lord, hear my cry. Listen to my prayer. And I pray that for God to do that for you and me today. Lord, hear the cry of your front porch friends. And David also says it like this. He says, God, from the ends of the earth, I will cry to you. You know, I, I, I love it there because in some ways, you're just sort of, he's sort of saying like, even from the ends of the earth, from a far away place, God. From the ends of the earth, I'm crying to you. Sometimes you just kind of feel far away like that. And other times he's saying from the ends of the earth, I kind of hear it as just saying, Lord, I'm sort of at my end. I'm sort of the, at the end of myself. So here I am, God, at the end of myself. 
hear my cry. And God, hear my cry. And when my heart today is just feeling overwhelmed, God, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. Some translations, as I was looking at that verse up in the last couple of days, it just said this for the word overwhelmed. It said, God, when my heart is faint, when I have no strength, but you know what, what What I think of, and this is what I was feeling when I was praying, actually. What I think of, when I even read that word, when my heart is overwhelmed. It's like the word overwhelmed there means when this thing just is just too big for me. It's just too big. When the circumstances that I'm dealing with at the moment, I just look at those things and I'm lying in bed at night Maybe I cannot sleep because I look at those things and the only word I know is it's just too big. Bigger than I am. And maybe it's more than one thing for you. Mm -hmm. Been there too. You know, maybe it's maybe it's more than one thing right now that you're looking at that feels that way. Maybe you look to your to your left and it's too big. Maybe you look to your right and it's too big. In every, every direction you look, everything just feels absolutely overwhelming to you today. And you just feel like, God, I don't know what to do. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It sort of reminds me of being in the ocean. You love to go to the ocean, I do. And, you know, whenever you're in the water and maybe you're just kind of walking or not walking along in the water in the ocean, and all of a sudden, as you're just sort of walking along, Maybe you got your back turned you know, <laughs> to the ocean itself and, and all of a sudden out of nowhere and, and sort of unexpected, you know, the waves are coming, but maybe you all of a sudden have a wave that hits you from behind that you didn't realize how big it was. And before you know it, that thing has overwhelmed you and that wave has hit you so high, it's going over your head. And the next thing you know, you're just underwater, flailing around underwater. You've lost all sense of control and you, you absolutely are just simply looking for something steady to hold on to. Well, life can throw you that sometimes. Just waves that you didn't expect. I read something this week that I just loved though. Charles Spurgeon said it. He said it like this. He said, I have learned to kiss the wave that threw me against the rock of ages. <laughs> I've learned to kiss the waves that throws me against the rock of ages. See, the truth is, everybody deals sometimes with being overwhelmed. We know that. Because life itself is overwhelming. It's just the way it is. But David, David didn't say, Lord, if my heart ever gets overwhelmed. He didn't say if. He said when for a reason. Because we all deal with it. Not if my heart, but when my heart is overwhelmed, like some of you are feeling right now in your life and in your circumstances where you just feel that way. So the question's not, the question is not if you're overwhelmed. The question is, where will you go when you are overwhelmed? The world has its choices in the places that it goes because everybody deals with it. So everybody goes different places and the world has lots of options. The world turns to drugs, the world turns to alcohol, the world turns maybe to relationships or to uh, Netflix binges. Some people turn to pornography. So many things that actually just leads them further into, well, let's just call it deeper darkness and counterfeit faith that doesn't really help at all. The places the world will lead you will make the situation worse instead of better. David knew where to go and I do too. And so do you. And that's what we're going to talk about today. I love this because David says it like this. Lord, hear my cry. From the end of the earth, from the end of myself, I'm crying to you, God. And today, God, when my heart is overwhelmed, lead me, God, to the rock that is higher than I am. I love that. First of all, God, lead me to the rock. When my heart is overwhelmed, I'm not going to look to the things of this world. When my heart is overwhelmed, I am not going to turn to any of the options that so many other people turn to. When my heart is overwhelmed, God, lead me to the rock. I love that he says, lead me to the rock because you know why? Because the rock is never shaken. 
That's why I even like it's why I like coming up here to this old rock right here. I've been here many times, even when I was a little girl. We used to come up here, my sister and I. We used to come up here to this rock with my grandfather, so I have lots of memories here. I love it. This old rock has stood here for a lot of years. Look at, look at it. Yep. And I can assure you one thing. This rock has never been shaken. There's been some earthquakes hit it. There's been some, a lot of storms that's come around it. There's been a few F, there's been some big tornadoes. In fact, in 2011, there was an F5 that went around it right over here, right above this very place. This rock wasn't moved. This rock's never been shaken. Nope, in fact, the creek down there, the creek can rise. And if, if it could, if that creek had waves, of course it doesn't, but if it ever had waves, and if that creek, creek were to rise, which sometimes it rises, but let's just say that, that the creek had the ability to rise all the way up here to where this high bluff is. This, that creek could rise and it could hit this thing, but it ain't going to shake this rock. This rock will never be shaken. Oh, look at this. I want to show you the scripture that I read even this morning that I love to, that says this in Psalm 62. It says this. So you know why I come to the rock? Look at 62, 1. Because I wait quietly before God. For my victory comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. He alone is my rock. He alone is my salvation. He alone is my fortress where I will not, I will never be shaken. I love that because David is saying, God, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to go to the rock. And do you know why I'm going to go to the rock? I'm going to go to the rock because if this rock is never shaken, all I've got to do, come on. I, here's a little, here, look here. See this little, this little place is sort of the, the rock's got a little cleft in here. And all I've got to do is I've just got to climb right up here into this cleft and I'm going to crawl my way up in here. Come on. Now I may fall, but Jesus is going to help me get you up here for your sake. Look here, that little cave there right there. Look here. David is saying this. He's saying, I'm going to get up in here. I'm going to get up underneath this rock. I'm going to get up in here in this little cave right here. Now I've got a covering over me. I've got walls around me and I don't have to worry right now because if I'm up and under this rock right here, I will not be shaken. And the reason I know I'm not going to be shaken is the, the rock that I'm hiding in right now will never be shaken. That's what God is to you. That's who he is, honey. You are in a safe place inside the rock, inside the rock of your God, the rock that will never be shaken. He is your safe place. He is your safe place. And I love it too, because David said, God, lead me to the rock that is higher than I am. I love it. Look how high this thing is. See, it just goes up, 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 way up, 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 way taller than me. So little bitty me, just stands right here at the, at the at the base of this huge rock. And then if the storm was coming, all I would have to do is just get up here inside my safe place. And I don't have to worry because this rock is higher. The truth is, when we sit around worrying about the stuff that we're dealing with, when we act all stressed out and full of anxiety, that's us acting like we're higher. When we get, when, when we just, instead of going to God, we just sit around just worrying, worrying, can't sleep, can't sleep, rolling in the bed. And oh, just sitting there on the couch, staring and just stressed out and worried. You know what we're doing? With that? We're just acting like we're the higher one because if we're going to figure out what to do, we've got the ability to figure out we can fix this thing. No, honey, you and I don't. We're going to have to go into the place that is stronger than we are. The place that's never shaken by the circumstances of this world. We just go up into the place that is higher. See, if this old rock right here had eyes, it just goes up so up, up, up so high. This thing is so, so huge. If this rock that I'm up under right now, this little cave that thing I'm in, if this rock had eyes way up there, it could see for miles and miles and miles and miles. And the truth is, I don't have to see because the rock can I can just get up, 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 up in this little hidden place within the rock. And I don't have to worry because the rock can see. I don't have to be afraid. I don't have to be shaken because the rock's not shaken. I don't have to understand. All I am is inside the rock. And the rock loves me and the rock wants to protect me. And you say, well, Karen, what do you mean the rock loves you? <laughs> because for me and you, the rock is not a thing. It's a person. It's a person. 
It's our Father. I, I saw a little picture today. I'm going to put it up right now. This is our rock. And you and I are like that little girl. Now, if you're a man watching this right now, just go with us, all right? Just see yourself like that little girl right there. And when your heart is overwhelmed, we just run to our rock, to our Father. And we hold on and we cling to Him. When I was a little girl, I would do that. I had a wonderful daddy. And my daddy was a safe place for me in the natural when I was a little girl. I knew if, if I was in trouble, I could just get to daddy and I'd be all right. If I was in trouble, all I had to do was run to him and hold on. I didn't have to worry about anything because my daddy would handle it. And that's it right there. Just look at that. Look at that. That's who you are. You've just got to hold on to him. He's taller than you are. He's wiser than you are. You can hold on because I don't have to understand because he understands. I don't have to see because he sees. I don't have to know what to do because he knows what to do. I don't have to worry about provision because he is my provider. And I don't have to worry if I don't feel loved because he loves me. If other people don't, my father God does. He loves you. If other people today have hurt you and let you down and failed you, you don't have to feel all alone because you will never be. You have your father who is the rock in your life. You have your father. You have the father that knows. Right now, you can know that when, when life gets too big for me, when these circumstances I'm dealing with right now are just too big for me and I'm overwhelmed, what am I going to do? I'm going to run to the one who's bigger than I am. Today, if you are feeling shaken and today, if you're feeling overwhelmed by the waves of circumstances that's knocked you down and off of your feet, you know you have a safe place to go. You're not like the world. You don't run to the things of this world that numbs your mind away from the reality. The circumstance may sit there looking at you, mocking, mocking you every day. But you don't have to be shaken because you are inside the one who is never shaken. Do you remember that old hymn? It says, Rock of Ages left for me let me hide myself in thee let the water and the blood from thy wounded side which flowed be of sin the double cure save from wrath and make me pure I love this last verse. So when I draw my fleeting breath, when my eyes shall close in death, and when I soar to worlds unknown, and behold, you own your throne, oh, rock. Of ages cleft for me, let me hide myself in thee. You don't have to be afraid today, you're not alone. You are inside the one who's never shaken, and you can rest quietly in him. It's going to be all right. Father, minister to my friend today. I pray that you will speak hope. I declare your peace that passes understanding. I pray that today you will pull him or her deep inside of yourself, Lord, into their safe place of your presence. Lord, I pray that you will surround them with your comforting love that lets them know because they are in you, everything is going to be all right. I thank you, Father, that you are such a good father that has never failed your children. And you never will. Our trust is fully in you. That while this world is shaking, we are never shaken. You are our provider. 
You are our safe place and you will never fail your promise. So we cast every care upon you today. We rest in you because you care for us. In Jesus' name, amen. My sweet friend, why don't you just comment below? I sure love to hear from you. Why don't you just, you know, last week you and I talked about standing and we've been standing. I loved reading your comments last week where you just put over and over. So many of you would just write, I'm standing, I'm standing. I just loved that as I read them. Why don't today you just write this little simple statement, I will not be shaken. I will not be shaken. Because you are in him, you will not be shaken. Well, go, go read today and just meditate on Psalms 61, Psalm 62. Just meditate on those beautiful passages and just drink them in deeply. And as you do that, I want to remind you of how loved you are by your father and by your front porch friend right here and so many others that are on this porch with us. You're never alone, my friend, never. We're in this together all the way. We're going to see miracles in answered prayer. So until then, you just dwell in the rock and in your safe place. And until then, I will see you again next week. Bye-bye, sweetheart.